everybody so in this video we are going to look at a new fastest llm inference provider called the grok so we are going to test it out by building a very simple chatbot using the gradio framework so grok is setting a standard for the gen ai inference speed and is helping in real time ai applications so Grok uses the LPU inference engine, which stands for the language processing unit. So it is a new end-to-end -end processing unit system that provides the fastest inference for computationally intensive applications with a sequential component, such as the AI language applications. So currently it supports the Mixtral 87B and the Lama 270B models. All right, so here is the platform. You can see the playground, All right? So you can just, I've already tested this out. It's really, really fast. So you can select the, so these are the supporting models currently. All right, so we are going to use the API access token to build our own API chatbot. All right, so we are going to implement the gradient. All right, so this is how it's going to look like. So I'm going to say, what is the best way? to learn how to code in Python, say submit. All right, guys, this is really fast. So there are several effective ways to learn how to code in Python. So we're saying online so courses, books. There are many books for learning Python, such as learning Python. I like the answers it's given out. So by the name, Eric Coding Bootcamps, Coding Communities, Personal Project. All right, so I'm gonna say, I'm gonna ask a follow-up question. I'm gonna say, which one is the most Which one is the most effective? Right, saying apologies for not specifying the most effective method earlier. So it is able to remember the previous conversations, guys. So this is uh, really awesome. So he's saying the truth is there is no one size fits for all answers to this question. All right, so. However, based on various studies and surveys, online courses and personal projects tend to be among the most effective ways to learn Python. So it really gives me the best ways to actually learn how to code in Python, which is awesome. Okay, so let's get into the VS Code. I'm going to show you how you can build it step by step. It's really, really easy. Okay. All right, so I'm going to close this out now. Close this out, and I'm going to I'm going to create a new terminal. All right, so we are going to install our requirement. All right, so I'm going to show you how you can. First of all, you can create an environment, which I've created here already. So in order to do that, you can say Python dash m V E V E M B E E M B. Okay, so when you hit when you hit enter, it's going to create an environment just like this one. Okay, so I've already created it. I just have to activate it. So I'm going to say E M B slash script slash activate. So when you activate it, you can see it here. Okay, 
So this helps you to organize your code in just one folder, which makes it very simple and easy. And you can share it to friends to also install on their machines. Okay, so when you have that installed, let's install the requirements. So we are going to need to install Gradio, Langchain, Langchain Grok, Python.env, Langchain Community. Okay, so when you do that, you are going to say pip install dash r requirement txt. So when you hit enter, it is going to install all these packages to run the application. I've already installed that, so I want to clean this up. All right, so we need to get the, I'm going to show you. Right, so we are going to get up here. Okay, so we import Gradio to create a framework, import OS to get our, our load, our API keys. So from chain, long chain of chains, we import the conversation chain to create a chain. And we want to put some memory to that. So we are saying conversation, buffer window memory. And we are going to import chat, the chat crook. So, so in there, we are going to provide our API key, the model name, the settings, right? So that's where we are going to put all that information. And we are going to import the load DMV to load our environment variable. Okay. So we call the load EMV. So we are going to load a variable the environment variable from .env. So this is where we store our, the Krog API key, All right? So I'm going to show you how you can quickly get that. In order to get that, you go to API key and you go to create API key and it's easily going to create that for you and you are going to copy that and you come in here and you paste it in your .env. Okay. So the next thing we want to do now is so that we create a variable called a croak API key and we say dot OS dot environment. We are going to load the croak API key. Okay, so we are going to set that up here. All right. So the next thing we are going to do now is let's define so we create a function to initialize the conversation so we say dev initialize conversation and we initialize the memory conversation memory because we want the chatbot to be able to remember the previous conversation so we see memory is equal to the conversation buffer window memory and we initialize, so guys, you can put in parameters that you want to put in here. So we have the several parameters here and we initialize the chat, the group chat. So we provide the API key, which is equal, which is the API key here. And we can reference that from the .env. Okay, so you just going, you are just going to paste the dot this into your .env and you equal that to the API key, it's really. All right, so the model name, we are using the Mixtral A7B, the temperature is equal to 0 0.2 and you can even stream it if you want to, so you can do stream is equal to true and we create and return the conversation chain. So. We are passing, so we are, want to return the. We want to return the conversation chain, so we want to. We are passing the LLM, which is equal to the croak chart, and we pass the memory. So we initialize the conversation chain. So we assign that to conversation, and you create a function to handle the chatbot response. So we create a function, we call it chatbot, we pass the user question, All right? So we see the same, we are getting the response for conversation chain, 
based on the user questions. Okay. So we assign that to the response. Okay. So that when the user answers, enters the question, it goes through the conversation chain and we retrieve the, only the response. And we are creating the user face, radio user face interface with a chatbot function as the backend. All right. So we are passing the inside the interface. We are passing the chatbot, the input text, the output text. And we want to put a title and a description. We are saying ask the question to get a response and we launch it. All right. It's pretty easy. So I'm going to see that and let's run it. We run it by saying radio app dot spy. All right. And then we just enter. Right, so I'm gonna hit this and say follow link and let me ask ask question. I'm gonna say write uh, Python code snippet to build a classification model. It says submit. Right, it's really fast. So I'm saying sure I'll be happy to help you with that. Here is a simple example of how you might build a test classification model using the Python library scikit-learn. So this example uses the, the naive, naive base classifier, which is a good choice. Okay, it's pretty, pretty efficient. And I'm going to ask a follow-up question. And I'm going to say, how do I evaluate it? I'm going to say it and let's see how do I evaluate it. Oh, great. I'm glad you asked by evaluating the model. So it's able to reference to the previous conversation. Right? Model evaluation is a crucial step in machine learning workflow. Here's how you can evaluate a model using the scikit-learn library so we're saying classification report and scikit-learn sklearn dot metrics all right great wow this is awesome all right guys so this was what i wanted to show you a very simple ai chatbot to implement the use of the fastest llm inference all right i so do play around with it and I hope you like this video. So I'll be coming your way with more exciting videos. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. See you in the next one.